Hi everyone, my name's Caroline and I'm your Jamboree Benny Yu associate or consultant, whatever you'd like to call me. Um, oh, I may not be yours in fact, because I'm going to share this video with my team to allow them to use for their customers as well. So any questions you do have, you just um, reach out to whoever it is that gave you this video and I'm sure they can answer all your questions. So I've come on today to do a video showing the application of our lacquer strips. I've done loads of videos for our nail wraps, but they're different. And very quickly, I'm just gonna explain the differences because I think that's quite important. Our nail wraps are made of vinyl and they're heat activated and pressure sealed. So you can use your hair dryer, or we do sell a little thing called a mini heater that you can get for as little as a pound in certain bundles that we do. And they're fabulous. Loads of designs, a sheet does two manicures and up to two pedicures. So on a four for three offer, there's a junior range, they're hard wearing, they're brilliant. But the lacquer strips are something different. The lacquer strips look like this. So that's a pack compared to a sheet of nail wraps, which look like this. They both do the same amount of applications. These do up to two manicures and two pedicures, depending on the length of your nails. And um, they're not made of vinyl, they're made of lacquer or polish for you and I Brits and several layers of polish. So there's pros and cons to both, mainly pros. Um, I suppose being made of polish, they are more prone to chipping, but you should get a good week before that happens if you apply them correctly. And um, they're so quick to apply. And if you've got curved or domed nails, you may have had problems with the wraps because application takes a bit longer to master with nail wraps if you've got curved or domed nails, whereas with the lacquer strips, super easy there's no creasing. So I've just done one hand and I thought, oh, sugar, I should have recorded it. So I've quickly come on. So this is the one I'm doing. This is what uh, is in a pack, but there's two strips like this. And in fact, an extra for a pinky, but I, um, I like to cut my pack down, the, down there to open. So I've already done one hand. Now my nails are a little bit too long to do both fingers from a single strip. Last time I did them I could get away with it but um, they've grown so if I choose to keep my nails longer then I have to accept I'm only going to get one manicure and two pedicures from a strip such as life. So that's what I'm doing today. So first things first nail prep is really important as always and in your pack of lacquer strips inside the pack it comes with your two strips and it comes with some alcohol wipes and it comes with your nail file. It's a very cute little gentle nail file. And it comes with an orange stick. So this is everything you need to go. So I have buffed my nails. They're nice and clean. I'm gonna use alcohol to remove the natural oils. Ooh, that one fell on the ground. Here's one I found earlier. So wipe your nails, just removing any natural oils because anything really that you put on your nails that you're gonna to expect to stay in your nails for any period of time would um, have a problem with oils. So that's that done nice and oil free. And now I'm going to look at my strip to size up. So I happen to know that this second bottom one, because we're remembering that the bottom one is still in the pack here, um, over here, but I use those for my tootsies. So I'm keeping those in there. And I have several extra ones from my first application that I can use for my tootsies or mixed manis in the future. And I also have a whole lot of halves from that I've used on this hand that I've got stuck just down here beside me to do my toes. So I get loads of applications because, you know, we can if you use them wisely. So there's a little rip that you just rip off. It's kind of like a little lolly stick, isn't it? And then there's a clear covering on the top. So you peel that off. I've already checked that this is the correct size for my pinky, so I'm good to go. And then, can you see, there's a silver little tab. So you pull that silver tab off the white backing like so. Now I'm left-handed so I'm showing you my bad hand which probably wasn't the best plan but hey ho it's too late now. So you're just going to position it on and for this I'm going to turn around so I can see. Um, I should maybe sometime get filmed from above but I worry about you know being able to see down my top or <laughs> it might give me several chins if I look at funny angles or something. So I'm too vain for that right now. So I'm happy with its position. I've just pulled the tab off from the top because I'm not going to um, 
reuse it for the pinky on the other hand because I've already done it. So I am wasting a little bit just to show you best. So you just press down using a little bit of pressure, no heat required, just seal it to the nail. And then you can just file straight off, but these are very fragile, not very fragile, but you just want to be a bit gentle with them. So if you can trim, you'll get a neater job when you do file. So that could absolutely have done my pinky if I hadn't already done it. Um, but it depends, like some fingers are longer and mine are quite long at the moment. So I'm quite happy with how it's pressed down. Now with a nail wrap, I would have filed off like that in a downward motion, removing the very tip of the wrap from the finger. But with these, I'm gonna go at this angle. So I'm only just taking off the tiniest little bit because it's a different product. So make sure you get around the sides. This is my shortest nail, so it's a bit tricky compared to the other ones. There we go, that's all done. You can give it one more press down, no real need. Right, and then I'll go for my next finger. So for this finger, I'm using the silver one. So it's the next one on the strip. Pull it off, remove the see-through film. I must admit, they sometimes like to stick to your fingers, which is annoying when you're doing a video. <laughs> and then I'm removing the silver tab from the backing and I'm going to position it now as I said last time I'm going to turn so I can see because you know I do want to keep this mani on for a good week or so so I don't want to regret facing you for this part when I think it's squint okay so I'm happy with its position obviously usually I would use my thumb for this but because I'm facing you I'm just going to show you, just press it down. No worries about creases because it's not going to happen. Crease right, press right to the tip, just like that. And then we're going to cut off the excess again. Cut, 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 cut. Again, that would quite probably do my other finger actually, depending on the length just now. I've just not tried now because I know my nails are a bit longer, but certainly last time I applied these, I was able to get a full manicure like both nails done from each individual strip. So a full manicure and pedicure from one strip, leaving enough for another manicure and pedicure. Now, because these are made of lacquer, they do dry out if you don't seal them properly. So you want to seal them wrapped tight in cling film or something like that, and you should get a good month from them, if not longer. We're still experimenting, so it could be even longer. So that's it. So super super easy to apply and to remove you just use nail polish remover they are several layers of polish so if they're not coming off really quickly with nail polish remover you can potentially put them in a little cup of nail polish remover for a couple minutes and that should do it but yeah fabulous 12.99 for a pack which comes with your nail file your alcohol wipes your orange stick two strips enough to do up to two manicures and two pedicures and there are four for three offers you can choose any four designs for the price of three Fabulous. Thank you for watching. Any questions, ask myself or whoever your associate is. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoy your lacquer strips. You can apply a nail um, like top coat over them. So our True Shine, for example, which is our home gel range, can go on top of them to make them last even longer, but it's not necessary. And there's no drying time, so you're good to go straight afterwards. But as always, if anything, um, same as the nail wraps, maybe avoid soaking your hands or getting them covered in cream for a couple of hours afterwards to the best of your ability. Okay, thank you for watching and um, I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.